Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 15 October 2021. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly contributing editor Donna Slater demonstrates how electricity wheeling can reduce the risk of load shedding if legal and technical uncertainties are addressed. Experts say that tariffs and the legal framework governing the wheeling of electricity from independent power producers will be key factors in IPP's ability and willingness to feed surplus power into regional and national power grids. The engineering news features focus on water engineering and infrastructure, where a desalination plant in Port Alfred reaches a key milestone. Gas to Power, where the doubling of liquefied petroleum gas market initiative aims to double industry supply in five years. Packaging, labeling and barcoding, where using a barcode-based software system creates an end-to-end -end solution for efficient and effective warehouse management. And Fasteners, where Actum Group's fastening systems are used at solar plants. The Mining Weekly features focus on exploration, where mining investment company Menar increases its local exploration activity. And Explosives and Blasting, where explosives technology aims to humanize mining. This week's business leader is Brenton Spiss, MD of Boyko Engineering. And as this week's cartoon shows, the decision of the National Energy Regulator of South Africa to reject ESCOM's revenue application for the period from 2022-23 to 2024-25 has created ructions. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, the magazine that offers you news about developments in the real economy. Happy reading and see you next time.